slogan, my insane friends. If you've got a wife or a friend or a family member that just doesn't seem to understand why you hoard so many car parts, you might want to share this video with them. Now, it starts out a little boring, but it gets better as it goes on. Insanely cool cars, tool reviews, and auto repair videos. Okay, I know this looks like a mess, and but I guess y'all are my viewers, my insane friends, and you probably completely understand this. And a lot of mechanics have a problem with throwing stuff away because as soon as you throw something away, it turns out it'd be really useful. And so sometimes we take this to the extreme and I think I've done it here, but it's worked out well for me today because I'm shipping off this cross member here, which came out of 2004, four by four Explorer. And I don't know if you've seen the video or not, but I had this video where I was putting all these lights in the shop and these boxes are the boxes from the lights from the shop. Of course, they've got a plain box side here on the inside, and I turn them inside out. This thing right here was especially difficult to box up because, yeah, like 43 inches of length. So I don't have a lot of boxes I can put something 43 inches in there. As a matter of fact, yesterday I boxed up seven car parts and shipped them out and none of them anywhere near this length but yeah there were several times i was about to throw all these boxes away and then i kept remembering and 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 let me know in the comments if you have the same situation where you're hang on to something six months eight months a year two years and then you finally throw it away two months later you're doing something like this and you're like, man, I should have kept that because <laughs> it would be great for this. So it's not just some old boxes and junk like that that I save and keep. <clears throat> I've got pallets and pallets and pallets of parts that are boxed up from transmissions that I've tore down. And those pallets are stacked on top of pallets full of more transmissions. And they just go on and on and on all the way to the front of the tractor trailer. And that's trailer number two and trailer number three. Hey, look, the cows have come home. What y'all doing? Uh, one laying down on the job there. Hey, you don't have to leave on my account. And this is a bus full of kits that I also sell on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. And these are all transmission kits, overhaul kits, rebuild kits. Like, shed some light on this situation. And Shop Cat, this little Smoky Mountain kitty, she keeps all the rats and mice and stuff from destroying any of this inventory see watch her she'll go in there and patrol the barn garage I have these same kind of shelves in trailer number three full of the transmission parts after I list them on eBay and Facebook marketplace and then I put them organized on the shelves label everything and organize it and I do have some brand new parts and stuff too and rebuilt pumps is one of my popular sellers I rebuilt these pumps and I guess you've seen my videos if not you can look at my transmission playlist and you can see me rebuilding the pumps I show you exactly how I do it if you want to just do it yourself and I have these shelves full of parts too and this translates to around $2,000, $2,500 a month in part sales at this point. And then there's a bunch more Chrysler Dodge stuff right there waiting for me to, to go through and list and organize and put on the selling platforms. I'm also working on the Sane Auto website so that I can list stuff there instead of paying all those selling fees. 
And over here, I build pumps and drums and stuff over here. I use an arbor press because I've got the, the big 25 ton press, but it's so slow. And things like arbor press and foot press are so much quicker and easier to work with that you're much more likely to use them and then you avoid using a hammer and beating on things and mauling them up. And then of course, I've got several stainless steel tables like this where I tear the, the transmissions down, separate the good parts from the bad parts. And then sometimes the carpenter bees get in here and they, they leave me a mess. Hey, look. She is patrolling, making sure there ain't no Mises chewing on anything. So am I alone in this obsession or do you hoard parts too? I mean, if it's not transmission parts and engine parts or car parts, I mean, do you hoard computer parts or what? What do you, what do you hoard and sell on the platforms or not sell? Let me know in the comments below. Does it look like a halfway decent box? Hey, if you like this video, we got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews, we've got repair videos, we've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch Sane Auto. Binge watch Sane Auto. Binge watch Sane Auto.